Hey, it's Rich, the Louisiana Hobby Guy. And I wanted to do a quick video today because there's been a big update to the WeCreate Lumos that solves the problem that I guess every creator that's done a review video on the Lumos has brought up. And that is bi-directional scanning. So WeCreate has just released a new version and the way to get it, if you have a Lumos right now, and I know a lot of people have jumped on the Lumos bandwagon, uh, is to go over to their website. So let's do that real quick. So over on the WeCreate website, if you come over here to software, and this is the only way to get this, uh, this version, and then click over here where it says download, you're going to see version 3.02. So if you do this in the WeCreate software, you'll only get version 3.0. You have to come here to their website and click on the download button. Now, once you've installed this, which I already have, I've downloaded it and ran the program. Then you come over to the WeCreate software and over here, you'll see processing settings on the right side. If you turn that on, and then you come down here, you'll, you'll see scan mode. And this is the default is unidirectional, but what everybody wanted was bi-directional. So bi-directional is now an option. And that puts to bed probably the number one complaint that people have had. So I have got the Lumos ready to run a job and we're going to run it so that you can see the bi-directional scanning for yourself so if we come back to the software i don't think i want to run that <laughs> so so we'll go to my stuff recent projects i think i have something in here right there and the only thing that I don't want to do on this one, I don't want to run that red layer. So let's ungroup this and get rid of that red layer. So let's just delete that. And now we're just going to run this guy right here. So this is my logo. It's a pretty complex file, I guess you would say. So if I select this, I want to do a fill engrave and if I come to select material I do have something in customization which is six millimeter cork fill engrave so I'll click on that that's one of my own settings that I've created and I have to connect my device up here so I'm just going to click on devices so I'll click on hobby guy on USB like that and you'll see that it just connected to the Lumos. Now I can bring this up here and I want to refresh the page because the great thing about this is the camera option. So we're going to refresh the page and there is our camera and I'll just center this quickly. And now I'll hit the autofocus button and the machine will autofocus. And it happened really quickly, so <laughs> kind of hard to see. Uh, but it did go ahead and autofocus, and we are ready to get started. So um, I don't think there's anything else I have to do here. And I just want to make sure I bring this to bi-directional, because you have to set it each time you create a new project. So I had it set on the last project, but it wasn't on this one. So now that we've got bi-directional scanning set, it should be ready to go because I have my custom material in here. So now I'm just going to go ahead and hit start. One thing I didn't do was put it on blue light. And let me just check. I got my bi-directional. So everything looks good. And I can hit start. So I'm going to hit start on this now. And once I've hit start, we have to wait for the processing. And we have to click send, which I'll do. And now we got to hit that little button. So we'll get started. 
and you can see the difference in the speed right off the bat. So when I originally did this on uh, with the old software, it did the graphic itself and then came back and very slowly did the outer band. So that was my biggest gripe was the bi-directional scanning. And as you can see now, uh, that has been solved. So you don't see anything but the engraving all the way across processing the whole image at the same time, which is what I was looking for to get the fastest possible engraving. And I have tested this and the speed on this, it takes about half the time as the unidirectional scanning used to take. So big improvement on this. And that, like I said, that's the number one complaint that everyone reviewing this machine had. And I got to tell you, with this new bi-directional feature, uh, they've, they've really, you know, hit the mark for this engraver. If you're doing uh, shows, uh, craft shows or whatever it may be, you're going to be able to process these images uh, really quickly and make customized process uh, projects live for your customers and they're going to be really impressed by this. So this is a, you know, graphic intensive file with all of the relief engraving that's going on. And uh, I guess it may not be probably the very best example of how to do this. But um, this file took like 10 minutes without the new upgraded bidirectional. So great advancement. I, I really needed to make this video for we create because we all asked for it and they put it into development. They developed it, developed it, and now we've got it. So uh, now I can honestly say that if you're doing portable work, like at craft shows and things like that, this is definitely the portable laser to get in this price range. Now you can see the job's just about finished. And now it's just going to come back, do the line after fill, and we're all done. What a great, quick engraving this did. So I'm really happy with this. This came out absolutely wonderful. I haven't cleaned it off or anything yet, but there's the engraving. Did a great job. And we now have bi-directional fill. So that was the only thing, in my opinion, that this machine was lacking, was the bi-directional fill. And everybody else that reviewed it agreed with me. So um, I don't think... I remember anyone having any negatives about this machine other than the bi-directional fill. And now that's done over with great machine, the Lumos. I really like it. I've been using it quite a bit. So uh, that's it for today's video. Quick, short video on how to upgrade your, your software so that you can now get bi-directional scanning in on the Lumos. So uh, as always, I want to thank you for watching. And I'll see you in the next one.